It's a sight Oklahomans are used to seeing. The unfinished shell of the American Indian Cultural Center and Museum on I-35 just south of the Oklahoma River. The state has already invested more than $100 million. Today, the state Senate voted to add $25 million to that to finish the project. Today was a very historic day, as many of the other days have been, because the Senate passed uh, our bill to to uh, provide $25 million in bond money. This new deal would also give Oklahoma City ownership of the museum and the surrounding property. I want to work with Oklahoma City and the city council and the mayor and city manager, and, and I do believe all of our donors want this to happen. So I believe it's a win-win situation for everyone. Blake Wade, the center's executive director, says if the governor signs the bill, he'd like the place to be open to the public in 2018. Wade believes people will get a one-of-a-kind education on Oklahoma's Native American tribes. To tell the history of all of our 39 tribes and how they got to this Indian territory. It truly will be exciting, historic, educational place to come to. And we talked to one of those who voted no. He says he voted against the bill because of the additional debt it would add to the state and concerns over giving the museum back to Oklahoma City.